out beyond the, the ideas of right doing and wrong doing, there is a field, I'll meet you there. 750 years ago, Rumi wrote that, and here I am in a field, or more like a farm, uh, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about what it's like to express the experience of being a farmer. Um, I love being down this area. I'm just basically three minute walk from MEA. And what I love about it is the simplicity and the spaciousness, probably like the United States was maybe 120 years ago. If you were born in the United States in 1900, imagine what your life turned out to be over the next few years. Uh, by the time you're 19, 20 uh, and 20 years old, you're probably a farmer because it was the number one occupation in the United States. Uh, but you'd also just seen 72 million people around the world die because of World War I or uh, the Spanish flu pandemic. And then by your mid thirties, uh, you were a farmer going out of business because a lot of farms actually went out of business in the Great Depression. And then by your forties, World War II had started. And then I'll go on and on in the post about all the things you had to deal with if you were born 120 years ago. Um, maybe we can learn something from the farmer. The farmer has to be an optimist and better be resilient. And if there was ever a time in modern times, in the 21st century, when we need to be optimistic and resilient, it is now. And so let's learn from the farmer. Um, let's appreciate that optimism and resilience in the face of lots of fear, anxiety, and obstacles is one of the ways that we actually can live a good life and maybe even smell the peppers. Ah, nice.